descending and descending loops of Luke and Henley, or limbs, excuse me, of Luke and Henley. Any other tubes in here that are actually not part of the nephron? Clanking duct again. Clanking duct's conversion to what? Papillary duct. Okay? So the tubes you expect to see here under the blood vessels would be parts of loops of Henley, descending and ascending limbs of loops of Henley, and then the collecting ducts and papillary ducts. Again, I'm not going to ask you to distinguish, but I could ask what tube did you see there. Okay. I guess what parts of the nephron did you see here? What would your answer be? You're going to do them. What tubes are part of the nephron did you expect to see in the medulla? <coughs> Only ascending and descending limbs of loops of Henley. No distal convoluted tubules, no proximal convoluted tubules. Okay? Only parts of loops of Henley. Descending and ascending limbs. The other tubes that you would see here under the blood vessels, which are not part of the nephron, would be collecting ducts and capillary ducts. Okay? You can see this is quite distinct from what you saw in the cortex. No renal corpuscles. That's a distinctive feature. Not renal corpuscles, you're in the cortex. No renal corpuscles, you're in the middle. It's a bunch of parallel tubes. That's what gives the stride appearance to the medulla. So basically, this is called the parallel tubes. Let's 